First up tonight, a new policy in southern Colorado that's going to change the roads for drivers. At least one of a millions of dollars have been spent on flood control projects on Highway 24 through Ute Pass since those floods in the summer of 2013. And since then, if there was a flash flood warning, drivers had no choice. They couldn't drive on the highway. So now CDOT is changing protocols when it comes to closing Highway 24 through Ute Pass because of the threat of flash flooding. Yeah, the new policy are great news for people who live and drive through that pass every day. Storm Tracker 13's Jason Laird is live along Highway 24 with the details and what it means for you. Well, James and Heather, until now, drivers traveling up or down U Pass were completely controlled by Mother Nature. However, that's changing. Now, they're not going to close Highway 24 unless there's actually flooding or debris on the roads. This was a common sight last summer. Highway 24 closed through Ute Pass because of a flash flood warning. It's difficult when the pass does get shut down because it oftentimes you know, means that they're waiting in line for hours to either get home or get into work. But now that's changing. The pass will only close if there's actual flooding or debris flow on the highway. A welcome change to see that the CDOT will be looking at the actual conditions and it'll be something that the residents will greatly appreciate. If there is a threat of flash flooding, CDOT CDOT crews will be dispatched to three locations, Cave of the Winds, Cascade, and Green Mountain Falls. If they do see water on the highway, like this from 2013, they'll close it immediately. Now, if there is flooding, CDOT will open the highway, obviously, once they remove all debris like this and everything is pretty much cleared out of the way and there's no danger. Now, this new protocol is going to remain in place through September 30th of, of this year. Reporting live from Ute Pass, Jason Laird, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Jason. And you can see the clouds out there. Jason's live shot. Let's get a look.